These are my top five favorite software, programs, and tools to level up your Twitch streams and make them better. The first software that you're gonna to wanna to download that I use is OBS Studio. This is where you're going to connect with your Twitch. So you'll go to their website, just download the appropriate operating system that you have and install it to your computer. This is what it looks like when you open it, minus the infinity wall here, which I'll place a box over so you don't get confused over any of it and you won't have any scenes or sources to start out with but i'll kind of walk you through real quick you just add a new scene like so i'm just going to cancel it since i have some pre-made already and currently i'm in the game mode scene which just captures my video input which you can add here by going to video capture device and selecting your webcam and this is where you're going to be adding all your other sources that pop up as displays, which is what I'll get into next. Holy so the second software you're going to want to make an account for, but you don't have to download it, <clears throat> and it's called Streamlabs. Streamlabs does offer its own live streaming software, and it's a great tool if you're just starting out and want some easy features. Um, but to unlock all the features, you're going to need to buy their Prime subscription. So. I found alternative ways to get what I want on my streams, but I still utilize Streamlabs because they, it comes with a lot of free tools that I use primarily as my overlays for my streams. So some of those overlays that I use include on-screen notifications. So if someone follows or subs to my channel, it'll have a notification that pops up on screen. Um, it controls my chat box. So when everyone's typing to me, That'll also pop up and appear on screen. You can add a tip jar like I have here if anyone wants to donate cash to, uh, to I do it through Steam, Steam Labs as well, but it goes through PayPal, but you can also donate bits and it has a fun little animation that adds to your tip, your tip cup. Um, same thing with, like I just said, with the donate alert box. Some, and you can change the uh, animations or sound effects that come with some of these alerts, which I'll show you in a, in a few moments. You can add a sub point goal. So if you have a, a subs, subscriber goal you're trying to reach, you can visualize that to your audience while you're playing. And same with the follower, follower goal, which is up at the top right. Um, some of these other on-screen notifications actually are gonna be some of the other software I'm talking about. <laughs> The next few tools I use, I feel really elevates your live stream interaction and uh, entertainment value. One program or tool I use actually is on a website called thefirewire.com or Triggerfire. If you just type that into Google, it should pop up. You create an account, you can upload, I'm on the sounds tab here. So when someone in my channel point redemptions, wants to cheer me on, they can uh, spend a few channel points and do a victory, victory screech. screech. <laughs> so those are a few of the fun sound effects, but you can also add videos. Um, you can also add images and GIFs. So I have a few of these redemptions here that are kind of fun. So when they're watching my streams and I'm doing something stupid, they can punch me in the face with a hot girl. Everybody wins. I am the Triforce! But, I must ask you a question. One of my new favorite tools I use while live streaming is called Snapcam. Snapcam is essentially Snapchat's filters, but now on PC. So now you can use Snapcam as your video capture source and pick the filters that you would like to use, such as some of these. So here are some of the favorites that I have went through and searched and saved just so I can pick out what I might want to use on my live streams. So if I'm into Mario or about to play Mario, I can have a channel point redemption where people could click on that. Whoa. Bam, mama mia, I'm Mario, I'm -a gonna win. <laughs> and if I want to get uh, trippy with my fun guy play on words, I can become a mushroom and be a fun guy. So the possibilities with these filters are nearly endless. And I believe you can even design your own filters if, if you're um, capable of doing such things. Now I, can, now I can do crazy stuff like my favorite 
anime anime character like this. And I get the spiky hair. It's all that's that's my favorite. I and those came from a couple different filters that I stacked together. So having that ability to easily do it live, but give the audience a chance to redeem it for themselves, to make them a part of your streams and add that little bit of fun into your streams is top notch, next level. You're gonna want to have this for your live streams. The potential with this is amazing because of all the different effects, filters, sounds you can stack and trigger on top of each other. But how do you do that? I'm almost there, run! <laughs> That leads me to my last and final program that I would recommend that you use for your live streams. That software is called Mix It Up. Uh, I believe it used to, it started out when Mixer was still a thing, but now it's evolved into this amazing bot that I also just um, not too long ago started using. So Mix It Up has a very simple layout, which I do appreciate. It does take a while to kind of sift through everything to see what all it actually can do but this is basically like a, a very good all-in-one bot that you can use on your live streams you can even use it on discord um, you can set timers do giveaway uh, stuff but this is basically where i set up all my channel point redemptions like the the goku uh super saiyan thing you just saw um i also have this funny sad clown And then I also stack that with this Hello Darkness song, which I just adds to the pain. So there's so many fun effects that you can now do with the combination of snap cam and mix it up and just learning a little bit of how to control your hotkeys and how to tie them in with your channel redemption points. So there you have it. Those are my top five recommended software programs and tools to level up your Twitch streams. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel and share it with some of your friends that could elevate their Twitch game. If you're heading over to Twitch, be sure to follow me over there. We can have a lot of fun, play a lot of retro games some co-ops, and I play a few modern ones as well. But currently I'm on a chronological timeline playthrough of The Legend of Zelda. I just recently finished Skyward Sword, which I have a playlist to, but I just started the second game in the series, which is the Minish Cap. So go over there and check me out while I'm live, and until the next one, if you ain't having fun, you ain't doing it right.